everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 115th Q tutorial. Um, all right, uh, let's play a hypothetical here. Let's say you've been watching my tutorials and you've watched the last oh four or five videos where we've been beating zip files to death, and you get all excited over you know QZip Reader, QZip Writer. You go out to my website www.voidrealms.com, and you filter it down, and you get to it. And you download this zip file. You extract it everything's looking good, you try to build it, and nothing happens. You get a bunch of errors. Well, that's what we're going to fix in this tutorial. Um, it compiled and ran just fine in Linux, but I had a oh, few hundred emails saying, hey, this is not working in Windows. So I went in and took a look at it. So let's just, right out of the box, you unzip this, you went into the project file, and you're looking at this. First thing off the bat I notice is, you should see, should say ZDLL. Now if we try to build this after we save it, we get a bunch, of, I mean just a ton of messages. Undefined reference to, what do those mean? Hmm, well undefined reference to means, well, we're missing something. So let's actually go into Zlib, Windows, grab this DLL file, be sure to throw it in here. Give it another rebuild. Oh, still not seeing it. Sometimes you'll notice this and sometimes you won't. Just depends on which version of Windows you're on. You'll see a bunch of warnings pop up. But it'll say um, redefine, redefine, redefine. I, for whatever reason, I just can't get it to do it right now. But the reason for that is, well, these little guys. Q GUI export, Q begin namespace. What we need to do is actually take this out of the cute namespace and stop defining these. So we're gonna actually just go into zip reader here. I'm gonna delete that too off the struct. We're gonna leave this Q disable copy. We're going to get rid of this, and we're going to get rid of that. So essentially what we're doing, we're going to get rid of this warning message because this is no longer part of the cute library here. Um, this is still under their copyright, so we're going to leave the copyright header, but we're just trying to get this to work in our project here. All right, save that. Now you notice how we have 25 issues. If we give it a good build, we have four issues, 10 issues. So we just cut them in half. So let's whittle down here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Ta da! We have a successful build. From this point, all we really need to do is go into the source code and modify these little paths here. So let's just do that while we're while we're actually recording and doing stuff here. Move that off to the side here. And da -da 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 -da. Remember we have to do these forward slash or it treats it as an escape character. It's one of the annoying things about Windows. Um, I know some of you out there are probably snickering going, there's a lot of annoying things about Windows. Yeah, it's there are a lot of annoying things about every operating system. <laughs> get that in here alright so you can see how there is no test.zip we're gonna actually give this a good build we're gonna run this should say test.jpg if it just crashes like if it says press any key to continue you forgot to actually copy the DLL into the same folder as this little exe that we just built See, right there's the DLL. If you forget that, this will crash. It will, it'll compile, but it won't run. So let's actually go back in here. There's test.zip. There's the image inside of it. And there is fail.2. Fail.2. Fail2. Huh. And there she is in all her glory. 
Well, that's really all for this tutorial. I have actually gone into my Ubuntu installations, plural, and tested this um, quite extensively. I was a little embarrassed it didn't work. I do apologize about that, but uh, wanted to make everything right in the world. So now we have the Zip Reader, Zip Writer, thanks to Qt. They still own the copyright to this. Um, we just had to take it out of the namespace. Ooh, we should probably get rid of that too. Give this another good build and see what happens here. Yep, still works. All right. So I'm going to zip all this up, throw this up on my website as tutorial 115. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and I'll see you soon.